Hi, I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This piano is a Yamaha U3, 50 inch piano, very tall, tall piano. Um, and I like tall pianos. I like a very, uh, very full, rich sound. I think most musicians do. And this piano absolutely has that. As a general rule, I like pianos, upright pianos anyway, starting at about 48 inches. And this one has that extra height, which, which makes it uh, all the more, um, it, it fills the room better, better experience playing this piano. This piano is uh, 1979, which, which for a piano is not terribly old. Uh, I work on pianos regularly that are significantly older than that, and they're great. So not, not only is, is 1979 for a piano not too old, but, uh, but also this piano has that extensive refurbishing work. It wasn't in terrible condition when I got it, but nonetheless, um, I take great, great pride in, in the very high standard of pianos that, uh, that um, I'm willing to sell here at my store. And I, I do, I, I have very, very high standards of, of, what, uh, of what I'm willing to um, attach my name to. So, so accordingly, um, I put this piano through very rigorous, uh, rigorous checklist. So this piano is immaculately clean, as you can see there, and uh, under the keys, in the down at the bottom where the pedals are, everything is very very clean, and you can see that action is just in great shape. The so that's the first that's the first thing is, is a thorough cleaning. I do a uh, thorough regulation. Sorry, let me back up before I regulate it. I tighten everything on the whole action. There are several hundred screws. Tighten everything. Make sure everything is properly aligned. Everything is um, is uh, properly lubricated where where lubrication is necessary. All of the keys, I ensure that they're that they're level, proper key dip, which is the distance that you can push the key. It's surprising how much that make, actually makes a difference. Uh, pianists don't don't necessarily know, you know, oh this this key dip is an eighth of an inch too high or too or too low or whatever it may be, but they'll they'll sense it. They'll they'll intuitively know it, having played many, many pianos before, they just know what the proper touches and that's and that's one of them I take care of among many many others there are lots of different regulation steps that I ensure are just right um, like I said it's it's uh, it's a um, very extensive checklist that I do of course I bring it up to pitch concert pitch and tune it uh, cosmetically I'll tell you about cosmetics of this piano before I play it can hear it. Cosmetically, this piano is in excellent condition. It, uh, if you were to look at it, not knowing that it isn't brand new, you probably would think that it's brand new. It's cosmetically in in very very good condition. presence it has it has a very um, typical Yamaha Yamaha piano fairly bright not overly bright but, but definitely on the bright side 10 being super bright and, and one being very dark I would say this piano is maybe six or seven strong bass which which as I mentioned at the beginning of this video I like a lot I like I like strong I like a, a masculine I like a muscular sound
good sound, great touch. Comes with this bench that is adjustable and uh, I deliver for free to Utah, Salt Lake County, um, where it fits in price-wise. This, this piano brand new, the, the Yamaha U3, which is, which is one of Yamaha's very best sellers, um, is, uh, is 12,000, something like that, as it's listed in the, in the uh, piano buyer guide. Um, so, you know, a fraction of the price and an excellent, excellent piano that will last a long, long time. I've regulated it, cleaned it, tuned it to perfection. Am I missing anything? It's a great Sounds piano. Good. Okay. Thank you for watching.